Right, hi guys. Today I am doing pickled fish. Okay, I have uh, found some dorado, which is very similar to yellowtail, which is probably the better fish to use. It's again a very simple recipe. <clears throat> um, so to start off with, make sure your pan is nice and hot. And you're going to oil in, and then you have your dorado, which I've cut into um, more manageable pieces. Uh, I've left the skin on. Some people like to take the skin off. I prefer the skin on. Anyway, so salt the fish and uh, dip it in the flour. <clears throat> nice. This uh, obviously prevents it from sticking and gives it a nice color. Otherwise, your fish is not going to look so appetizing. <clears throat> right, just lightly dust. Okay, I've used about just over a kilogram of fish. Uh, you can use more, you can use less, it's entirely up to you. And remember that this uh, dish needs to sit in the fridge and uh, pickle for about three days. So it's not something that you can eat straight away. Obviously, the longer it sits, the better it is. Right, once your fish is nicely floured. Okay, <clears throat> going to the frying pan, which is already been preheated. Put your fish down with the skin up. Right. And just lightly fry it until it's cooked through. Uh, you can put it on a high heat in the beginning and then turn it down as you go along. And while the fish is frying, we'll make the simple sauce, which again is uh, basic. You can vary with the sauce, you can add extra spices, uh, sort of the same as any curry spice. I'll be using curry, turmeric, fennel, and cardamom. Right. Well, that's fine. <clears throat> Alright, it's cooking nicely. Get your pot, this is for the sauce. Um, I've got about two cups of uh, normal white vinegar. Uh, this sauce is a sweet and sour combination, so you need to have your vinegar and your sugar. The vinegar obviously is for the pickling processes. This is with water to bulk it up. That's white vinegar, water, a cup of sugar, and a couple of bay leaves, black peppercorn. <clears throat> now for the spice, I like to use one tablespoon of turmeric to two tablespoons of curry and then a little bit of fennel and a little bit of cardamom. There we go, that is your sauce, that simple. As you can see, it's got that typical color that you're after. <clears throat> then your onions. You don't fry your onions, you don't brown them, nothing. You throw them in into the liquid. And the reason why we do this is we want to keep the onions not raw, but when you bite into it, it's not slough. There's only worse than it. And a slough onion on a pickled fish. So your onion must be quite firm. Right? We leave that, we get that go, and obviously a bit of salt. Uh, that should do. <coughs> right. <coughs> well, that's cooking. I'll fish this down nicely. And let that cook a bit more. Not quite brown enough. Yeah, so we let the fish fry, we do all sides, uh, make sure it's cooked right through, 
and let your sauce cook for about, simmer for about 10 minutes. As soon as the fish is done and the sauce is ready, I'll show you how to, how to combine the two. Right, so the fish has been cooking for probably about five minutes. It's nice and golden brown. The sauce has been simmering away. As you can see, the onions are uh, cooked, but they're still quite, uh, uh, what you, I wouldn't say crunchy, but they're not cooked beyond so they all puff, right? The fish, perfect. Yeah, so we take the fish now and we layer it. Nice dish that will hold the sauce. Okay, that's it all, all in there, fits perfectly. Right. There's your fish. Now the sauce is slightly too thin, so I'm just going to add a bit of uh, cornstarch to it. Not a lot, just a little bit, just to give it a slight thickness. There you go, that'll do. And then um, this is something that I added to to my recipe, which is. Uh, something slightly different. Some people use sultanas. I use uh, dried apricots. It gives it a nice fruity, sweet uh, variation to the recipe. Right, as you throw those in, you take the sauce and you cover your fish. Right, that's it. And spread the onions out nicely, make sure all the fish is covered. And then you let that cool down, and then you wrap it and you put it in the fridge for three days. And then after three days, perfect. Thank you.